Territory, of course, is an essential part of every wolf life. We've had a pretty good territory system from the beginning in the Wolf Quest Anniversary Edition, but as we've been playtesting it for the upcoming Wolf Quest Saga, we decided to tweak a few things. The main issue is that some players feel the need to keep their territory super strong, above 80%. That's not necessary, it's always been fine to let it drop to around 50% strength. That's why we added this alternate icon style here a while ago to indicate the strong hexes. But since you can toggle on the hex percentages, that prompts some players to try to keep those percentages very high, which is fine if you enjoy that sort of thing, and some players do, but it's not been necessary. Now in the saga, with the addition of hex invasions, along with the pup raids, territory quality is even more important than before. And for a while in development, it was actually better to have a 90% hex than a 55% hex, which <laughs> contradicted and undermined our official statement that anything above 50% was fine. So we had two problems to solve. We brainstormed a number of ways how to revise the how territory works, but finally settled on a pretty simple change, which is there are now four different hex styles. If you mouse over the hex percentage button, you get this pop-up legend explaining them. There are two styles for hexes above 50%. The same strong icon we've had for a long time, and a newer one with a double outline inside the hex. This doesn't mean super strong, it just means you've marked it recently and gotten the strength above 75%. But as the note down here states, rival packs regard all hexes that are above 50% equally enticing. So do what you like with those hexes, but it doesn't matter to the rival packs if they're 52% or 99%. And we also have a new icon for weak hexes with this cross hatching, which indicates that they're below 25% strength. And you should probably get out there and mark those soon. They're very vulnerable. Also to try to discourage players from obsessing about hex percentages, we thought about removing the option to show all hex percentages, but we got some uh, vehement feedback about that. So we've kept that, but adding a third option. So the hex percentages button now toggles you through three options. Don't show any percentages, Show the percentage only on the hex that you're currently in, and show percentages on all hexes. We don't recommend this last option. It's an awful lot of information, and it can lead you to focus too much on keeping those hexes very strong when that doesn't matter. But, you know, that's up to you. And remember, in the saga, you'll only have to establish your territory once initially, unless you move to another map. But after that, you just have to maintain it, which you can do on hunting excursions. And then during the Young Hunter's Quest, you're nomadic, roaming your territory. So it's just part of what you do as you move around. So that's another little improvement for the saga. Oh, oh, one thing I keep forgetting to mention, we are planning multiplayer for the saga, but that will come after we get the single player saga in good shape and released. So anyways, these territorial tweaks are another little improvement, we think, to the upcoming WolfQuest Saga, which is coming later this year.